What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Empyreon Galactic Survival. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today. As we hang out for a little while, I crafted a Gatling gun and so we're going to play around with that today. I think it's going to be kind of fun. Now where I want the Gatling gun to go... Ooh, that was a lot of G's all in one sentence. So, where I want the Gatling gun to go, I think I want to... Oh, look, it faces forward. Oh, that's badass as hell. Ooh. I mean, obviously it was going to phase forward, but I mean like the seating of the gun is cooler than I expected it to be. I know I probably can I mount it on top of my cockpit so that I can feel that familiar vibration as I unleash the DACA upon my foes. No? Well, then lining it up on one side will be good enough for me. I don't know exactly how this all functions. The last time I played around with Gatling guns, they didn't require ammo, so I'm going to take a look right here. It looks like it needs 30 millimeter APCR. Okay, so I don't know if that has to go in my inventory or into the gun's inventory. Like, do I refill the gun? Let's see. It doesn't look like that works right there. Let's go back inside, though. That at least lets me know what ammo it needed. Back the last time I played, you could just, like, fire the Gatling gun as much as you wanted. It didn't cost you anything. You were just, like, good to go. You could fly across the entire world as, like, ah, shooting rocks, ah, shooting animals, ah, shooting everything I've ever seen. Like, you could just annihilate everything, and there was no repercussion for it. It was actually pretty awesome. Also cathartic. At the same time, it's nice that there's now ammo. Probably as a balancing mechanism, I think vehicle ammo is probably going to be down here. I need... Ah, there it is. So it takes five metal pieces and five magnesium. That's actually really, really cheap by comparison to what I thought it was going to cost to do this. Do you get an entire magazine or do you just get... It looks like you get 50 bullets. Well, hell, make a bunch of those then... Oh, that's going to take forever. Disappoint, I am... Okay, so we probably are going to need, I mean, the output count is 50, so that's one reload. How many metal pieces do I have? I never have enough metal pieces, like, ever. I sit down and I craft them constantly, and I'm always out. Oh, we have 218. See, I sat down, I got mad about it, I bet. I bet after I recorded the last episode, I sit down and I was just like, I am so tired of not having these little metal robot wangy looking things, and so I probably sat down and made just like a bajillion of them. Okay. Well, make me a whole bunch of bullets then. Sounds fantastic to me. In the meantime, or in the kind time, I don't really care. I think I've made that joke before multiple times. That's definitely one of those dad jokes that you kind of try and keep under the covers. I don't know if you could talk about dad jokes and under the covers at the same time, but I haven't decided what I wanted to do over here. Another thing that I had contemplated is I was going to make a slanted, sort of like a greenhouse roof, I guess, to make this a little bit thinner, but I hadn't totally decided on it yet. The other thing that I had considered is maybe just making this... A little tiny pod up inside of here where this would all be glass and you would just look out from right here and then we would roof the rest of this off haven't decided I will probably I mean roofing it all off the problem with this game is that you can't get your blocks back easily you sort of can but at the same time you sort of can't and so I'm always apprehensive to do any construction project that I don't have explicitly planned also I wanted to show you guys somebody shouted this out in the comments and I hadn't really noticed once you build a base you can click on this little remote up here and it'll actually give you remote control of everything in your base. Like, you can turn things on and off, and you can look at your power usage and everything like that. Pretty cool stuff. We got enough power for 36 minutes left, I guess. I should probably add another fuel tank, because I really don't feel like we're doing... We're also crafting, though, so that's the other part. If we weren't crafting, I bet this will drop down. I'll have to take a look at it in just a second. But if you wanted to see the specifics of how well your base is functioning, and, like, your power efficiency and all that, that is where you would do it from. Do it. Yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might make this just kind of like a little guard tower in the middle. And then I would consider for a moment maybe just like filling this all in like a roof. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Let's do it. I've got whole blocks right here, so it shouldn't be that bad. I guess I could take so we could stand up on top of this thing later on. Our base is going to look super janky, though, if I don't plan this. It's going to look really, really odd. So what I would want it to do then... Uh, I would have to replace this entire layer with curved blocks. That's the first part. And then after that, I would have to come back. If I wanted it to look round like the rest of it does, and it already looks structurally unsound when you look at it from the bottom. The top is way too big for the little structural system we put in play. I'll probably mess with it a little bit to make it look nicer, but for right now, I'm just going to fill in these block spaces, I guess, because we're waiting on ammo to craft, and we got nothing better to do anyways. So let me take this. We're going to go in like so. I'll get on destroying these blocks at some point. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I swear to you, it will happen. Those blocks, we will ride out against them as though they owe us money or maybe some delicious candies, which by the way, I went to Seize Candy last night. It was awesome. I went to the mall. I had to go to the mall for, what did I go to the mall for? I went there for a reason. I just set a block down on accident that I didn't mean to. I always forget that I can just painter tool this. 
I really should do a better job at just like remembering that because it is quicker than building other things. Go right there, looks good, all the way down. If I have enough blocks to get this done, I am just gonna lose my mind with happiness. And then, assuming for a moment, I'm gonna need ramps to go up, or perhaps even stairs, if those are the sorts of things that people are into. I would probably go like so, and that's gonna be stairs, stairs, stairs. And that's going to have to go down like so in order to function properly. But that'll take me up to the next layer. A master builder, I am not. So when my base looks super messed up and just sort of damaged and dented like you should get a discount, don't blame me. It's not my fault. It's my lack of intuition when it comes to building things and also my lack of intelligence. So it is what it is. You got to live with it sometimes. You got to accept the things that constrain your performance. No! However shall I sit here for 12 more seconds while you craft? Actually, I think the crafting times in this game are way too long. I think they need to be reduced by about 60% just to make the game flow a little bit quicker. And then you could slow it down maybe for PvP and make it... I think this is my... Yeah. Go away, extra block that I don't require. And please don't make me see. One bullet always goes through so that when you finish breaking a block, it dents the thing behind it every single time. I do feel better about this, though, now that I have a roof. I will redecorate this at some point and put in, like, carpets and make it look a little bit more livable. But for right now, I'm trying to use, like, super cheap materials to make myself just a cheap place of residence. We need to go hunt some food, too. So let's go find some aminals, and then we're going to shoot them in the face with our machine gun. And then we will take everything from them and then put it inside of our... I want to shoot this Gatling gun, too. Maybe I'll go, like, hunting animals with a Gatling gun. Seems a little wasteful, but this is going to be awesome. So does it shoot? I think it shoots, like, at the reticle right there. It's... I don't think I can rotate that. And I don't know if there's going to be, like, a little actuator arm or something that you can put on this. But it would appear as though I can't really fiddle with this as much as I would like to. I was hoping it would have some sort of verticality to it so yeah since it's mounted right it makes sense because it's hard point mounted right there I'm gonna have to swivel things around in order to shoot this properly however it would be cool if they added maybe like a small gyro or some kind of actuator arm that you could sit it on top of so that it would add like a slight like 30 degree motion up down left and right so that you would have a little bit more to play around with you guys hey large angry creatures these are like little baby ones don't make squeaky noises. It won't. It takes me an entire magazine to destroy these guys. Well, damn, you'd think I could get it done in the first couple pages. I feel like my bullets are going away really, really fast right now. But I've got like 200 rounds, so what's the worst that could happen? Give me your meat. There we go. So we got the meat. I don't know what this alien plasma does. I assume it's for some kind of research or something later on, so I'm just going to take it. That big slug thing over there is looking at me in a very threatening fashion. Good, we got a little bit of meat right there, too. Unfortunately, I need more meat for this to work properly, and I haven't had my plants grow and give me any sort of sustenance just yet. They haven't even, they just been sitting there. I don't even know if it's working right. Eh. Oh, I shot you in your little worm ass. That's what you get. Wow, you go through rounds quick. When you go full auto, the ammo disappears. Oh man, you only had one meat on you? What kind of broke-ass alien only has one meat? It looks like my flashlight is like a butane lighter in the front of there, like a blowtorch or something. This guy over here is looking like a pretty fertile victim. There's something on my right, too. Oh! Time to wipe out more animals. You there, sir! Have you heard about the glory of being dead and feeding your human overlords? Don't worry about it. Just look right into this tube, and I promise... Everything's going to be fine. You won't even feel it. Yay, meat. A little bit more meat in there. I want a Gatling gun one of these things. That's it. I have to go. I need to Gatling gun an animal. I feel like I haven't quite lived yet if I haven't Gatling gunned an animal. I mean, why not? If you're already here. Animals! I should be able to raise and lower my altitude. So that sort of works. Like, oh, look, they fixed it. Good. This wasn't working a day or two ago where you couldn't make... I couldn't make my vehicle go up or down. It was just sort of stuck at a certain height. And so it looks like they fixed it with whatever patch or, you know, deployment of data that they have distributed to the Steam client. Where is an animal that I may Gatling gun violently? Is there any other way to Gatling... Ow! No! What is shooting me right now? What has opened fire upon me? Oh, no, there's a little robot right there. No! Get dealt with! Get dealt with, robot! Oh no, he's got the high ground. I gotta jump out. Hold on. He's shooting the hell out of my vehicle. And he's one of the big ones. 
I don't even know if we were connecting. No, stop shooting me. It hurts so much. Oh my god, your bullets. Your bullets hurt so much less than your derision, though. Oh, and now you're dead. And that's what you get for messing with Splattercat. I was going to make it rhythmic or whatever, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling musical today. It's just not inside. The spirit of music. Oh, you didn't even drop any ammo. After the amount of ammo that I put upside your head, you didn't drop any more ammo. Well, fine then. I don't want you to drop ammo anyway. So how many bullets did I go through shooting him in the face? Actually, it looks like my ammo isn't going down right now, so we might not need to reload it. I do sincerely wish that I could fire this a little bit. So if something has the high ground, there ain't no way you're hitting it. Oh, there it is right there. Get him. Get him, Dougie. Yeah, it looks like the ammo doesn't count. That's awesome, and it makes me happy. Let's never worry about ammo again. Oh, this slug thing's about to get dealt with. Is it? Yeah. It looks like it actually fires slightly to the right of the reticule. Yeah, it fires slightly to the right because I guess I didn't center mount it. I think that probably has to do with... No, you're too low. You found my weak spot. I can't fire up or down. Either way, that hunting trip was really, really satisfying, and so I hope we get to do it again. I just want all of your meat. Give me all of the foreign animal meat that I can possibly shove inside my person. Yay, animal meat. It's inside me. That's the theme song I've been working on for animal meat. It's inside me. I would like to repair it. Yep. You want to feel a little bit better, girl? Let me use my repair gun on you. Splatter can't make all the pain go away. Whack, 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 wow, whack, wow. Just after he said, I don't know, I like to sing sexy songs to my vehicles, make them feel a little bit. I feel like my vehicle is faster right now. I really sincerely do. I feel like my vehicle is way faster than it was before. I don't know, I haven't recorded the game in five or six days, so it is distinctly possible that they probably... Can I do this? Ah, uh, I was hoping that I could just press the Y button while not inside the vehicle to turn it off. That'd be super awesome. I should probably move this around, unfortunately, now that it's mounted, I can't. So, I'm just going to have to know to aim slightly to the left of anything that I'm trying to kill. It'll be fine. I would wonder if there actually is like a rotator arm or anything like that. I haven't seen anybody else have one on their hover vehicle, so I assume no is the no no is the answer that I was talking about before I fell off some stairs too. It's weird because when I'm just generally playing the game, I have to stay in first person, otherwise I fall off stuff all the time. But if I'm in a vehicle, I have to be in third person because I just hate the way it looks. I can't do it. It's too much for me. All right, so we got tons of bullets that I made over here that I didn't even need. I probably should have tested that first. Oh well. That probably used up a bunch of resources, too. But it does leave me with an option over here for making a lot more bullets. So I'm going to make, like, 20 of those. And we're just going to wait for that to be done someday. The other thing that I need to get done is going to be on this side with our food processor. Because I needs the foodses. So let's take that over to there. Very good. That should be enough for me to make. How many is that? Nine. Should be able to make nine sausages out of this. Why is that not? Ah, there it is. There. Perfect. Nine sausages. And how is our power usage going during all this? 31% draw. What that means is that we've probably gone down a couple of units of... I don't even know what those things are called. Power receptacles, glowing canisters of light, majesty, and the emperor's glory. I'm not really sure. I've got a few more things in here, but none of it's really useful. I think what I should probably do is I should probably go and get Prometheum on the back half of this episode because I am really really low on it and since I have to leave the power on now inside of my base all the time because I'm trying to grow my food oh it's ready for harvesting oh that was quick that was really what that was really quick huh okay so if you wanted wheat you can have some wheat we'll throw in the wheat and that right there oh we can make baked pumpkin mmm pumpkins hella good I love pumpkin we can make some... How many do we get out of that right there? Ah, oh, you only get one flour per grain harvested? Okay, that's fine. Not worried. You can also make burgers? What? Oh, I had a burger last night. It was so good. It was the greatest thing that I have ever shoved inside my mouth. It went to Red Robin, and I got the Red Robin Royal. And it's basically just like a bacon cheeseburger with an egg on top. I am such a sucker for a fried egg on top of a burger. It is the best. But the one thing that they never do is they never put one of those sticks inside of it to keep it from... Oh, man, I need to keep myself from starving. They never put one of those sticks inside of the burger to keep it from falling apart. And so every time I get the Red Robin Royal, it doesn't have the little burger stick. And so it just falls apart because it's way too ooey and gooey with an emphasis on the ooey. Because when I put it on my mouth, I go... Oh! 
That's the noise I make when I eat it. It's just... It's not a sound that I'm proud of, but it is a sound that happens. Can I make anything out of this flower? Like, we've got a couple of flour now. Like, what do we make flowers out? No! Oh, I could have made more wheat plants? Damn! A nutrient solution. That sounds delish. We've got waffles? Damn! You can make waffles? Oh, dude, waffles are so good. Definitely a part of the waffle master race. I like pancakes, but they just can't step up to waffles. They just are not... Oh, you need purified water. Okay. Where do I get purified water from? I assume that it crafts from right over here, too, but that's not an object that I have eyes on. Weird. Ooh, they added a new one, too. Ham. That's pretty cool. I really wish that these salamis stacked. They're kind of a pain to eat. It sounds like one of those whiny first world things to talk about, but having to drag and, like, drag and drop every single time I want to eat a salami. I don't know. This is a weird day for me working on episodes because technically I like don't have to work today. Like I don't need to like make episodes. Like I am good for the weekend right now. There's like nothing that I need to do. And I'm about to leave town tomorrow. You, By the time you guys see this, it'll probably be like next Monday and it won't count anymore. But I need to get higher up off the ground. There we go. That's what I like to see. I need to go get some Prometheum, so let's have a look at the map here. I already got that Prometheum deposit. That thing is done like dinner, but that one's looking pretty good up on top of the mountain. Up on the mountain! Sounds like one of those old songs that would be made by, like, CCR. <laughs> Creedence Clearwater. Up on the mountain! It just sounds like one of those songs to me. Up on the mountain! I don't know, it sounds like it to me. I need to write a hook involving mountains. And then people will love me more. So I'm still not totally sold on how I'm supposed to fight this big building over here without, like, dying horrifically. It has a mortar launcher, and unless I get up on a hill and, like, perfectly aim at it, I don't think that I can hit it. I have, wow, six hours of power left? Oh, look, and my gun has no power draw, too. Even better, that makes me pretty happy. I'm gonna try and kill this thing, and if I die in the process, well, then let it be so, at least I died honorably. Or sort of... Odiug, what are you doing right now? Hey. You better figure it out, creature. This is actually quite a lot harder to aim than I thought it would be. Damn. Yeah, there it is. Feel the might of humanity and our ability to make rotating barrels that throw little pieces of metal at you. Aha! It's so dark right now. It's so dark. It's so dark, I just can't see the light. I think I will probably attempt to shoot this thing somehow if I could see anymore, but we have a long time. Oh, it's shooting missiles at me. That's unpleasant. Wow. They have a vast array of weaponry. I would love to not be... I need to put... Ow. Oh, God. No, I need to be on higher ground because I can't aim up or down. No! I can make this happen, though. I can make this happen. I can make it. Okay, so we need to be a little bit lower over here. Yes. Yes. No, that missile's coming right at me. That might be impacting. I don't know. Oh, I almost got hit with a missile. Correct a little bit for height. Oh. Ah! That missile looked like it went straight through me. I don't even know if we're inside our range right now. This might not work. I might be outside of my range. People had told me that it's very, very difficult to see, like, if you're hitting something with a vehicle weapon. I would assume this has a long range, though, because you could put it on an aircraft. And so my assumption here would be one where, I don't know, let's keep shooting at it for a little while. And maybe we get lucky, maybe it explodes. Maybe at the same time, it hits me with a missile, and then I cry like a child with a broken lollipop. That could also happen for equal amounts of splatter cat fun. I really wish you would stop firing missiles at me. Why won't you just let me murder you at my own discretion? Like, this little guy right here has got the right idea. Man, they got laser cannons and everything. That sucks. Yeah, and I was just waiting for something like that to happen. Oh, no. I should probably take a look at my vehicle and figure out, like, how wrecked up we are right now. It's probably not good. Let's go over and get the Prometheum real fast, and then I'll try and fiddle with them a little bit further. I don't think I was hitting him, though, so this might get a little bit awkward. Oh, no. 
I think it's still shooting at me. How unpleasant. That's not a nice thing to do. There's something walking around in the darkness. I don't know how I feel about that either. Flashlight! Oh, it's a hostile. Okay, let's go take it out real fast. Dun 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 dun. Ah! Do they turn red at night? Because they go hostile at night and during the day they're passive or something? I don't know. I think one tried to kill me when I was out during the day, so I don't think that's how it works. Oh, I'm almost out of oxygen, too. Okay, so do I have my work light? I brought my work light. Oh, I didn't bring my work light. I am just the worst. I am an asshole of the hugest and most floppy quality. What was that? What is that in the darkness over there? You there, identify yourself. What are you? Pray tell, do you... What the shit? No! It's like some kind of golem. No! I don't want to fight with you, golem. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's some kind of large crystalline creature, but I can't see very well. Here, better flashlight. What the hell? It's like a duke monster. Ew, it's like that thing from Dogma. Gross. Let's jump up inside here. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that it probably cannot be shot in the face repeatedly. Uh-oh. It looks solid. Oh, nope, it looks dead. That's what it gets for trying to mess with me. Mm-hmm. That's what happens when you mess with the superior species. I wreck you. What is this? It is the desert golem. It's got Prometheum and stone in its inventory. Okay. Well. If I have my little drilly thing, I really wish the flashlight on the drill was as good as the flashlight that you hold in your hand. Or I could have just brought a work light and not been an idiot. Hey, there's the Prometheum. You can see it from its blue, glowy goodness. I'm going to try and work forward through all this and then work downwards. I'm going to treat it a little bit like an ice cream cone where you go like in one direction and then you go in the other direction. Make sure the whole thing functions. We should probably get off the planet pretty soon though. Once we run out of Prometheum, there's not going to be a whole lot of reason to be here. Come on. I heard this deposit was pretty big though. I think this one was like a deposit of size 5 or 6, which should be large enough to give us a lot of Prometheum. Let me just dig away here. I love the color of that right there. Such a bright, beautiful azure blue. Makes me happy. I don't know. I like bluey things. That's how I describe things that are blue. They're not blue-ish. They're blue-y. It's happier. It ends with an E at the end. And everybody knows that E is the sound that oh, everybody makes when they're happy. It's the sound that I make when I'm happy. How much Prometheum did we get out? Not very much, did we? Either that or it looks like it's condensing the pieces this time. Yeah, it looks like it actually... In order to keep you from having to pick up thousands of pieces, it looks like the developers have made it so they collect maybe a little bit now. I mean, look. How much is that? 75? Hell yeah. Okay, so we need 10. Each time we have 10, we get like... A couple of power thingies out. Yeah, it looks like they actually spit out larger chunks now. Whereas before, it would just spit out a bunch that were worth one. And there would be 10 times as many of them. So you had to mash on the T key the whole time. Yeah, there it is. I enjoy mining in video games. It's a weird subliminal thing. And I assume that everybody else does too. Given how popular like Minecraft and every other mining game has ever been. Like... They are a lot of fun to play around with, and for some reason, digging through the earth and just making it give way in light of my super awesome blasty rifle cutty thing, it's an enjoyable experience all around. I think you will all agree with me. Yes, and if you disagree, unfortunately, it's the internet, and I can't hear your disagreement anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to amend your vote, and I'm just going to say that you were agreeing with me. This is a really big deposit. Like, for real. This is like a deposit that when you take it to the bank teller, they're like, damn! girl at the bank teller starts hitting on you. She's like, so what are you doing later? And I'll be like, mm, not going out with you. Nope, not for a second. You know, she knows what my bank account looks like. That's terrifying. No girl, I want to amend here. No girl has ever hit on me based on my bank account. That is not a problem that I have ever been accustomed to. I have heard other people talk about it, and therefore I'm going to reappropriate their experience and formulate it into a joke as though I have experienced the same thing. And then I'm just going to hope nobody's like, you're a hypocrite. You're poor! And I'm like, oh man! You sound just like my bank teller. <laughs> oh god. I remember when I like first got out of high school, I got my first job and we got paid like $4.35 an hour. 
it was a minimum wage job and like I was too young and too dumb to realize you're supposed to quit a job like that so like there's life experience that goes into this well we're out of time I'll tell the story in the next episode my name is Bladdercat this is Imperion Galactic Survival we are getting as much of this lovely lovely Prometheum as we can handle because it is the base unit that we need in order to get anything done and if I can get this all taken care of like right now it makes our life so much easier later on because it means I don't need to run out and like grab things every five seconds in order for us to continue recording episodes. And so I wanted to thank you all for being here. I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy your company. And I will see you all later. I do, everybody.